And on Tuesday, I went ahead and planted two extra big buckets of lettuce. Gonna have enough for me and enough to share. And then on a Wednesday, I went ahead and if you noticed last week's update, I had a lot of dead stems and stuff on my tomatoes. So I went ahead this week and I trimmed up my tomato wall over there. And then on the first day of spring, what I did was I went and I did actually move the old lemon balm from the Tower of Tower, as I used to call it, and uh, planted that. And then I also went through and staked some of uh, my tomatoes that had been getting taller and needed a little support. And on the next day, I, uh, while I was out searching for toilet paper and such at Walmart, I came across a really, really, really nice strawberry plant. So I went ahead and got that and uh, planted that. Hey, what are you doing? Stop writing about sleeping on Sunday and let's get out there and go do that garden update. Happy Sunday, everybody. Today is Saturday as you know, as you were just told. And uh, we are going to go ahead and look at some of the things that we just talked about and what we've done over the week. So come on, let's enter my garden and take a peek. Well, the marigolds did come back, so that's nice. They're all flowering, so that's great. I, uh, speaking of flowers, I do have flowers on almost all of my plants for my tomato wall. And not only do I have flowers, but somewhere in here, oh, there's one little tomato, and I thought I had four. Oh, there they are. Aren't they just the cutest little things? Yeah, so uh, also what we talked about was staking some of the tomato plants as they're getting a little bit stronger, and I'm trying to lean them towards a fence, but I didn't want to just kind of tuck them into the fence. So out of the little bamboo things that shoot out. I made my own little stakes. And that's great. Oh, look at this. More tomatoes. And that's really exciting right now with everything going on. I've got a whole little bowl of tomatoes that uh, I sort of pick them when they get green. Here is where I planted the lemon balm. Um, and I'm told that this should regenerate and just sort of kind of I take over so I'm kind of excited about that because I do use a lot of lemon balm one of the other things that I did yesterday was I went ahead and leveled off all of the buckets so they are ready to have things planted in them I wish I had more to plant in them but my seedlings as we'll take a look here in a minute haven't really been doing so well as I thought here is my new strawberry plant. I was in Walmart looking for toilet paper and such yesterday and I walked into the garden center and they had this one little plant here and I just thought, my gosh, that's just the healthiest little $3 plant I've ever seen. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Ricky does love his strawberries. So hopefully that will take uh, fruition and come about. The throwaway garden here is definitely doing its job. Um, some things over here eating it and uh, seeing right down to the nub, even the cauliflowers getting eaten. So that's great, because that's what it was there for, to keep them away from my other stuff. The celery, I do have another thing of celery to plant. And uh, we planted the basil over here, and it's starting to actually come back now a little bit too. So that'll be great to have that there. All right, I said we were gonna talk about the seedlings. So let's do that. Right, so nothing was really happening with the seedlings. I did have this really strong pea seedling, and then last night I was worried that they were way too wet. So I put them on the back porch and just took the lid off of it, and they all shriveled up. So I'm gonna try to plant them today. All right. Back to the lemon mom. The potato pot is empty. Carrots, I'm just going to let go as long as possible, not knowing what the carrot situation will be in the stores in a couple of weeks when we are in a week when we run out of the carrots that we have in the fridge. So, 
We're going to let those sit. Again, this is one of the buckets that I planted the lettuce in, and I basically kind of planted it the same way that I planted my other bucket down there that we'll get to in a minute, and so I'm hoping to, it will be just as productive. And I will have some extra lettuce to share, which would be great. That's my kale. The spinach looks sorryful only because I have been sort of harvesting one big leaf a day <laughs> at night um, just because I wanted to get to it before someone else did. The peas are getting much, much taller. And uh, as you saw where those peas sort of sort of shriveled up that next day for whatever reason, I did go ahead and plant them down in here. So if they are going to sprout and come back, they will do so there. And we had planted onions over there in that section, but I don't really see much going on. The vertical garden. I have been coming out and picking the tomatoes just about when they get like this, when they just start turning and I'm letting them ripen in the house because, again, I just want to get to something before something else does. This is another bucket of lettuce that I planted just like this one. And again, this one has still continued to produce on a nightly basis, so I'm very happy. This tomato conglomeration has gotten very big and very strong very quickly. And there are lots of flowers. I thought there may be a few tomatoes in there. Yep, there they are right in the middle. So we'll keep an eye on those. And then this is exciting. This is, and look at this just came up overnight almost. A little flower from the pepper plant. And then there looks like there's two more that's getting ready to pop out. So we'll could keep that going for a little bit and see what happens. I don't know whether I should pick this one yet. Every time I have a nice big Roma tomato in this exact same spot, right the day before I go to pick it, it disappears. So I keep pushing it every day, running out in the morning to see if it's still here. But this is also one of the things that I did was I went ahead and trimmed up, if you remember, all of this here was just completely dead. So I trimmed all that back, found all these tomatoes underneath there. So that's nice. So again, I'm just picking those as they get nice and big and plump. The beefsteak tomato plants have started to take off and I don't know yet what to do with them. I kind of want to take them out of this bucket and separate them, but uh, I don't know where to put them yet. So we're gonna work on that. So that's it for my garden update this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back next week and we see how much more my garden has grown. We'll see you real soon.